Hello everyone, Thijs here with a little bit of an update for you on the Hearthstone part of the G2 team. I want to talk with you about the new expansion that just has been revealed a month ago with the Boomsday. A little bit on how the meta is looking as also looking a little bit on how we have been doing competitive lately. The first thing that I really want to take a good look at is the Boomsday. The Boomsday has been revealed just about a month ago and uh, of course as every expansion in Hearthstone always a big impact especially when it hits. In the first weeks there's always a little bit going on where a lot of decks are viable, a lot of decks are getting played but now after a solid month later uh, there starts to be a really meta game that starts to really get into the especially high legend ranks. Deck where probably the most of the meta is currently built around and what is probably the best class in the game is Druid. Druid has many different archetypes that are very good at the moment. Uh, we have Druid archetypes like Meligos Druid and Togwoggle Druid. Both are doing super good against aggro where they also have very strong win conditions. The Togwoggle Druid by switching the decks, the Meligos by just dealing 30 damage over two turns. Um, very strong win conditions from both sides. But also Token Druid, Big Druid has been doing well. The main reason why Druid has been doing well very uh, lately is because of after uh, the rotation happened, there were less cards in the game. And when there are less cards in the game, the classic set becomes very good. Druid has a very strong classic set already from itself. And with ultimate infestation still being around here in standard, it, it just powers up the ramp archetype for Druid a lot. And that's why you see it a lot currently on ladder, in tournament play, everywhere. Another thing that has been happening, and that's mainly also in the tournament meta, is a little bit of a tree, tree strategy way, where people try multiple strategies that all have their benefits and some of their weaknesses. The one lineup is to go full aggro, the other lineup is to go more for an anti-control lineup, and the other lineup is a more of an anti-aggro lineup. In the aggro lineup, a lot of time you see the... Paladin coming back, the Baku Paladin is a very strong deck. You have Tempo Mage, what is a very strong deck at the moment, but also Zoo. And Zoo is something that really came out of the booms they currently also in the meta, but has been a very dominant pick all around. In also for people that just get very high legend at the moment with a more heal Zoo archetype, using also some of the new Boomsday cards. Looking specifically at Boomsday and what the Boomsday has done. Boomsday is probably one of the most balanced metas we have had in all of four years of Hearthstone. It has archetypes, every class is currently getting played. There is, you can argue about which classes are stronger, but all nine classes are playable on ladder and in tournaments. There have not been many times in Hearthstone where all nine classes called definitely challenge each other and where they all had a very solid win rate. And also multiple archetypes for most of the classes. Maybe you can argue about Paladin being a little bit corneted out and also Mage not having too much options. But other classes all seem to have at least two or three archetypes at the very good ranks. If we are taking a very specific look on what has been the cards that have been the most powerful out of the Boomsday, it is probably the Giggling Inventor. The Giggling Inventor is a card that everybody predicted to be quite good but turned out to be very good. It gets currently played in almost every class, Druid, Hunter, Mage, Paladin. I think only Shamans are currently not playing it, but you will see that tomorrow there will be a Shaman deck also playing it. It's a uh, very strong defensive card mainly, but as always the cards that are very good defensive can also be very good in aggressive decks itself, where uh, it just turns out to be one of the better cards in some kind of the mirror matches. The Giggling Inventor is a card that uh, already from the start on already depended the meta a little bit. We saw directly the, the comeback of Mossy or a lot more Mossy Horrors. Blood Knights are coming a lot in the meta. So we see a lot of cards that we haven't really seen much before. Also now already getting played in multiple decks to mainly mainly deal with the, with the Giggling Inventor itself. Another deck that really shined up out of uh, the Boomsday is the Odd Warrior. Odd Warrior was a deck that was already existing but was kind of missing the power. 
but with the boomstay it gained a lot of additional tools where it from probably a tier 4 deck became now one of the new tier 1 decks. The Dr. Boom, what has been the only hero card being revealed out of the Boomstay, has a very big appearance in the Odd Warrior as it gives you another win condition in the very control lineups. The hero power overall, as it is, not, as it is a random hero power and you can get different hero powers, overall the hero power is very good in the more control games and the appearance of the Eternal Rover, a very early drop that you can drop at turn 1. The Dynamatic, the very good 5 mana removal card. And also the Super Collider as a uh, weapon that you can just play sometimes against Control and you lock them really down. When there are 2 minions on the board, they kill each other. So you really lock your opponent a little bit down that they can only play 1 minion at a time. Really makes the big part why Odd Warrior is good. Um, but of course Odd Warrior mainly still is made around the hero power where you can just tank up every turn for 4. Aggro decks just can't deal with it. The deck has a lot of removal. So it's a very, very strong deck out of the Boomstay. What we have also seen a little bit out of the Boomstay is more combo decks. The expansion has been a lot around combo decks. We have seen from the start on a, a more APM Priest uh, making a little bit of an appearance. It turned out to not be the greatest deck currently anymore in the meta, as it has its weaknesses against aggro as well. Mecha Cthulhu being a card that of course also had some impact and actually still gets played a lot. Mecha Cthulhu, when it dies and you don't have any cards in your hand or deck anymore, and it is the only minion on board, you straight up win the game. So it has a very powerful effect. It's hard to manage to, or it's hard to achieve all these conditions that you don't have any cards, that you don't have anything in the hand and on the board. But there are already decks that play around it quite well. Priest can do it very well as um, it can also, it has actually an existing combo with the new Reckless card that you can kill your own board on the same turn. But it also gets used a little bit as additional win condition and mainly in Druid and Barlock. If I want to give you a little bit of a power tier on what have been the classes or what has been the power level of classes. Druid is the tier 1 class at the moment. Uh, but it's not un undefeated. It doesn't just win against everything. It's powerful. But it has like slightly favored matchups. Most often on the board with some slight unfavorable matchups. Looking further is that the Odd Warrior and also Hunter being two very good classes. Uh, Warrior mainly with the Odd Warrior and Hunter with two archetypes. A Defrado Hunter archetype and a Secret Hunter archetype. And Warlock. Warlock is also very strong still. You have Even Lock, you have Cube Lock, you have Zoo Lock. So these four classes are mainly dominating the meta. And also Rogue uh, with addition of Quest Rogue now being back in the meta. Uh, doing very very good at the it's a, a very good in tournament but also on the more high legend ranks of the of the thing to also take a little a little bit of a look what are maybe the best cards to craft for you uh, out of the boomsday the great thing about the boomsday is there are not many cards that you necessarily need to craft the boomsday has been a lot of additional cards that have are good to existing archetypes. Boomstay didn't really bring a new archetype just on the table. You can argue about Odd Warrior, but it mainly put a lot of good additional cards into current archetypes. Tempo Mage is a great example where you have a few cards for the Mage class that are now fitting great into a more Tempo Mage archetypes. There have been quite some mechs being revealed and if there, if I should, if I had to give you one advice on which legendary is probably the best to craft right now from the Boomsday, it is probably Zilliax. Zilliax is a neutral legendary, so you can play it already in multiple classes. It gets currently played in multiple classes. It has great synergy with any other mech you will play in the deck, so that already works really well. And it's an, uh, it's a very, very cool card, mainly mainly against the aggressive decks, doing a uh, very, very good job. Another topic I want to talk with you a little bit about is the current uh, tournaments that we have been playing in the team. Um, the last tournament, and that was the biggest tournament, was the HET playoffs. Uh, me and Radu both made it to the HET playoffs and we both came quite far but didn't really make it out of the Swiss. 
It's always very hard to make it in the Hearthstone playoffs as there were 80 people competing and only four make it. So sadly we didn't make it uh, at the end. We both came close to like the top 32 but didn't make it. It's always hard but we will not give up and we will try again at the next playoffs and hopefully do well there. Another tournament we have been playing in is the HTG, the Hearthstone Global Games and um, we have been doing quite well overall. Uh, Nerea made it into the top 16 uh, with uh, Team Ukraine and I also made it to the top 16 with uh, Team Netherlands. We had to, it came down for us in a very important match against Poland where we had to win to make it out of the Swiss and after a two hour series we, uh, we won and also advanced to the top 16. It was a cut of 84 teams towards 16 teams. And this week we will play for uh, our spot at hopefully BlizzCon. The top 8 makes it to BlizzCon. So me and Nerea are still in with both of our countries. And what we'll will be awesome if we could both make it to BlizzCon. Another thing, a little bit update, is that uh, me and Radu will be going to China next week. Where we will be playing in the... Uh, Europe against China. We both will be representing Europe. We are uh, two of the eight players that will be will be representing Europe in this year's Europe against China. There's a lot on the line. It is an, a tournament of a um, prize pool of over two hundred thousand uh, dollars. So for sixteen players, that kind of prize pool is very big and is one of our biggest tournaments in the year. The first prize is an uh, Aston Martin. Well, it's kind of cool. It's an uh, a car where the Chinese always put on a very nice first prize where you can either choose uh, some good amount of money but you can also choose uh, one of a uh, unique car that is doesn't get sold much at all so you have very a unique prize in that way as well what is always cool to play for you see it like next to you when you play so it's always kind of kind of cool to see that all around and I hope that uh, we can do well there as well. It's an individual tournament, but you also have a little bit of uh, the, the honor of representing your region. Uh, will be fun and hopefully we can do well. That was it for this video for me, guys. I really want to know what your opinions are on the Boomsday. If you have any questions, also let me know. I also would love to know, as I'm going to do more videos for you in the future as well, what are topics you want to talk about? Do, are you interested in... What comes out in the expansion? Do you have other questions that you are really struggling with? Do you want advice on how to get legends? Do you want to have more class specific videos? Maybe matchup videos? Let me know in the comments. I will read them and hopefully see you then in the next video. Take care.